Hello guys, this is Naki here and today I'm going to share with you my new Light Swan Chaos Light Swan deck list. And now I realize that a lot of people might face the same problem as me. Uh, that people just disconnect when they go second. So this is happening quite often in the rank and I feel it's really irritating but to be honest there's nothing we can do really do about it. Okay. But what I change about the deck is I will make my deck uh, slightly more towards going second. So as you can see my previous list is really hard for you to play when your opponent is playing first. So you might be struggling but now I actually tune it a bit like going in with the Forbidden Droplet and a Lightning Storm. So I reduce the Solar Recharge and also the cut up one of my danger creature. Okay, so the list now I'm currently very happy with it and I'm having five winning streak. Yeah, but uh, to be honest, because the qu the game quitter is just very 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 annoying. So wasn't able to enjoy the game as much as how I used to because you know the tempo is really really bad. That, that's why that uh this season I didn't really play that much. But whatever, uh let's just go and look at some of my Bay back. So this is the game that I'm going first and I'm playing against I think this opponent should be Eldritch if I'm not wrong. But of course when I'm playing I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that but uh yeah I just go with the Christron tape because uh you don't you have to look at your hand if you have a level four Normal creature and a level 4 tuner means that you can go into the Chaos Ruler route. But if you don't have it, then most likely you are going to a Christron version. Okay, so uh, I actually make a very bad premise here because I should have just entered there. Uh, but I end up just special summon up the IP Mascarana. So I'm forced to look for a non tuner creature so, so that my I can actually. Uh, synchro the chaos ruler in my wooden turns but okay not that bad is that uh, I still have my chaos creator and then my chaos creator is get, getting the wolf back from the exile zone so I have the setup but unfortunately of course I don't have my snow in the graveyard and I think a lot of you guys have seen some of my previous video and if you haven't okay you can check it out as well so I will tell you more about how you actually handle the trap or the spell trap heavy decks, okay? So as you can see, opponent have a very aggressive hand and lucky enough, my opponent is like not very familiar with his deck actually. I mean, being set all his cards in the field just make me feel like more comfortable to go with what i supposed to. And because I have Lightning Storm behind, so I decided to go into a round that looks like I'm in the disadvantage, okay? which is uh, Chaos Ruler and then uh, I'll just take a card out of the 5 cards that shown on top I could have just take Raiden here so this is one of my play miss but uh, I'm going into a Unicorn and my Unicorn is going to send the 3500 Eldritch back to the deck of course so he, he might feel comfortable because uh, he just destroy my only creature in the field and didn't know that what is happening next yeah the caught by grave is like one turn late but it's fine because uh, I'm going to use lightning storm here but unfortunately my opponent have Solomon judgment which uh, half of his life and then um, uh, he's going to negate my lightning storm that I was purposely set up for but anyway I'm going to just special summon uh, two, both creatures from my hand because if I have right then I can do something else but uh Unfortunately, because I don't, uh, I just have to go with my Minerva and quite lucky that my Minerva got destroyed and then I just get rid of his last trap card in the field and I just got a uh, Chaos Ruler in the field and my Chaos Valkyrie usually 99.9% she will be uh, sending my Fairy Tail Snow into the graveyard okay and that's the main reason why this deck is so strong but never mind, I just set up my Caught by Grave and uh, my opponent is going to set a card and use the Eldritch effect for sure and I'm going to just exile the Eldritch in the graveyard 
and my opponent have the Axel Sanguine. Okay, so he thought by him he might be safe because he have some traps in graveyard to exile and get some golden land and be able to destroy my Chaos Ruler after this. So he he might thought that he's safe. We use his uh Elixir and get the Golden Land trap over, but unfortunately I just had my uh, snow and my snow is going to turn the Eldritch the Golden Lot into the face down. So his trap won't have the effect. Okay, so this actually changed the game at all a lot and then it just can say after I got my Raiden into hand is like it's of course almost a win already because I can just summon a Raiden and lucky enough that we got a wolf as well. <laughs> yeah, so you, I can just summon a Raiden. Remember a mule something, okay, as a feel for your snow in the future. Uh please take note that if your opponent have a no creature in play, then better you use it uh later because otherwise you might just got caught by the side okay so that might be really ridiculous So this is the game that actually I'm going first and uh, the first thing I need to try out is to see whether I can get uh, level 4 non tuning creature there to synchro my chaos ruler and really really lucky I just discard my jackal open and then I just get my danger creature and then I have my chaos ruler of course so I can just get a card out of the 5 of them and then uh, I got a free wolf and my, I got a Minerva for a free meal as well, so this is like very lucky. But this is the main reason why you play like Swan deck. And I got another Wolf with just one Minerva meal, so this is like insane. And of course, uh, I'm going to VD now, and I want to just uh, try to close the game now. I mean, as as I'm going to the Dugares and draw two discard one. So this one, uh, the meal is not what I really want, but uh, it's okay because I'm going to get my Apollo Usa there, which is uh, 3,200 Apollo Usa, and then with the Chaos Space, I'm going to get the Wolf back to the deck, and I'm going to get a free draw, and also very lucky here, I just got my Lavinia, and then my Lavinia actually exiles the Chaos Valkyrie, so I can get my Snow into graveyard as well for additional protections so in this case I can actually get uh, just very simple view with only an Apollosa with 3002 attack and also one Hope Harbringer Dragon okay, which is a number 38 so in this case I got another two meals from the Rider as well and the turn go past to the opponent and behind that I still have my Forbidden Droplet as well so uh, it's actually a very tricky situation. I can and I can, I can choose to not stab my uh, forbidden droplet for of course for sure. But it's like it's a very tricky situation. Okay, and my opponent forgot about number thirty eight effect, and then he used his creature to attack into the number thirty eight, and he just concede from there. So let's just move on and look at the next replay. So this is another game and I'm lucky enough this time I'm also going first and uh, my charge of a light brigade actually gets me a chaos space in the graveyard uh, but I don't really need uh, Luminas there actually so I just decided to go with the chaos ruler route and of course uh, it's really depending on what I got for my chaos ruler here because in my hand I only have like the <laughs> Yeah, the light, the white dragon, and also the chaos beat only. But the good thing is, I have caught my grip, so I'm not really that worried about my opponents, Maxi, Urara, and those right. So the only thing that I'm actually worried about is the uh, PSY with the side. So lucky enough, you don't have it, and I just simply get any cards into a hand, you know, then uh, use the black dragon, white dragon loop, 
get my back dragon to the deck and have extra draw and then use my uh, chaos breaker you know just get back the luminous and luminous is always okay it's like the key key part of your deck because uh, by luminous himself you can actually uh, use to get almost okay uh, uh, half uh, solid okay because she can actually uh, get some luminous back as well because luminous is a spellcaster and of course black dragon and white dragon together you just search the black dragon black although you, I can't special summon this turn but I, of course I can still use it as cost to discard or whatever if I want to so <clears throat> so this one uh, I, I just discard the mammoth and yeah I draw the she'll be necro so of course I'm going to send that to the graveyard well that is only useful when it's in the graveyard and then I use my chaos ruler so I exile something so uh, the, uh, use the ability to exile your shinobi necro they don't use it to exile for the black dragon and white dragon because that is a cost so you have to use like uh, chaos ruler or the chaos betrayer okay because that are the effect uh, that was the effect okay so in this case uh yeah this is the few that i have three negates and i have the backup i can i mean i have three negates now on the field i have ip mascarana to go with uh, a lot of different play so this is one of the play that i favorite okay? this is my favorite play that i like the most okay it's like a lot of people now they are playing those so-called go sec uh, goes first deck and then whenever they go second they just disconnect on purpose so this play is to punish those idiots okay so you can i just pause here so you can see what your opponent will play skill drain macro cosmos summon limit imperial custom and soul drain yeah so if you are playing a normal deck against them and they are not going second and then you have almost no chance to win right unless you have like feather or whatever but this one is just amazing you go first just use your cerebros you know exile their whole board you know all the traps that we hate and then we have our chaos ruler and also uh cerebros to attack for little easily okay, without any problem but i respect my opponent because he didn't disconnect while he's going second uh, but to be honest i just faced a lot of that kind of opponent recently so this is just what i want to share with you guys and if you face this kind of deck okay this is what you can do so this is the video of the day and i really thank you uh for your time so if you have any suggestion just let me know and this is naki and i hope to see you guys around soon